Welcome Freedom Family. Today we launch Heartbeat Photos for you. It's a free tool that's a better way to view your photos by just hovering. Let me show you how it works. To go there, just type heartbeat.photos into your web browser. Here's the concept. You hover over a photo and you see it right away. No clicking. It's a clickless gallery. When you click sign in, the first thing you'll see is the option to upload your photos from your hard drive. Just drag and drop from your hard drive into the browser and it instantly uploads these files. Later we'll support importing from your Google Drive or your iCloud photos, but for now, just drag and drop and they appear right here. So let me show you some of the photos I already uploaded. The very first photo on Heartbeat Photos is this one right here, George and Elephants. And I'll explain why that's important, but you can see the concept. I'm just hovering over the thumbnails now let's say it was in the wrong ratio. I can press R. R will rotate the image. And let's say I want to zoom in. Just use the mouse wheel. And I can press R again to get it back to the original ratio. Let's say you want to move the thumbnails around. Just press Q. And you can move the thumbnails to any of the four corners. Let's say you want to open up a new gallery. Just click the hamburger menu and click new gallery. And you can start creating your uh, Christmas or wedding photos. Christmas photos. And if you upload here, you'll have them in a separate gallery that you can share with friends and family. Let's say I want to share my kids' videos to my parents. I just copy this URL, control C, control V, send it in an email or a WhatsApp message and boom, they see uh, these photos without any clicking. And let's say you want to uh, have some cute photos. This is a photo my wife took of all the different uh, orange sizes, mandarin sizes. I thought it was really cute. Now it's forever saved in my heartbeat photo. So guys, I encourage you to check it out. If you tell us if you find any bugs or have any suggestions in the hamburger menu, just click here, send feedback. That'll tell us what you like, what you don't like. We are actively going to improve this product let me show you a few more features. Let's say we want to know more about this image. Just click the little down arrow and you'll see all the details about the image, including the gallery which it's in. Now this is only a single image gallery. Let's go to one with more images. Here are some images of uh, me, yours truly, George Venus. Now here's one of my favorite images. This is me when I was packing my car. Oh, but look, this is the wrong order. This is how it looks after. So I can just rearrange the images by dragging and dropping. Let's say I want the Freedom logo at the end. Let's say I want uh, this picture also at the end because it goes white with white. So you just drag and drop. Let's say you want to view your photos in a grid. Just press the G key. Now you're in a grid view. Let's say you want to hide all these interface elements and just enjoy the, the photos. You press T for theater mode and you can see all of the uh, interface went away and if you press F for full screen you even lose all of your Windows elements or Mac elements so you just have the photos you're interested in and you can even hide the thumbnails by pressing Z and now you have a completely full screen unobstructed view of your photos and if you want to zoom in let's say you want to see these teddy bears just use the arrow keys zoom in or the mouse wheel and you can get a good look at any part of the photo you're interested in. So yeah, let's go back to the regular mode. And you also have buttons along the bottom here where you can toggle theater mode, grid mode, you can zoom in. There's also a fill mode. Fill means no black bars. It will use the entire browser space, even for images that are different dimensions. So you can see there is no black bars. The entire browser is being used. But of course, the image doesn't fit. So if you press X, that's the fit mode. You get the black bars, but you also see the entire image. So there's a lot more features in here. You can see them all in the settings menu. Settings menu will let you explore everything you can do with Heartbeat Photos today. And of course you have your own account, which is your Google account. And uh, you can upload photos just by clicking upload and select files directly from your computer. And it's as simple as that, or drag and drop from your computer to the browser. And again, if you click this down arrow, 
you can see the image details and that stays there as you hover over different images. And then you can look at the gallery that this photo is in. You can add a description. Later on, we'll have more features for galleries. And if you want to search, let's say I'm trying to look for a photo. I'm trying to look for a photo that's cute. I have no cute photos. Okay, what if I want to look for a photo uh, of George? Oh, here's all my George photos. What about elephants? Elephants. You don't have to even spell it right. You can just uh, put like the first few letters. And here's the photos of me and the elephants. Now, why is this one significant? And I want to explain this to you now. This is the very first photo that was ever uploaded to Heartbeat Photos like an hour ago when we launched Heartbeat Photos for the very first time as a live product. Very first photo uploaded to Heartbeat Photos. What was the very first photo, sorry, what was the very first video on YouTube? Let's find out. First YouTube video. And here it is. This is the first YouTube video ever uploaded to YouTube. Right, here we are. This is the founder of YouTube, one of the founders, there was more than one. He is at the zoo with elephants. So do you see the reason why I chose this to be the first photo ever uploaded to Heartbeat Photos? It's the founder, George, uh, at the zoo with elephants. And I have a few more photos in this gallery, which is just adding some arrows and text explaining, uh, let's hide the interface, T, and let's even hide the thumbnails, Z, and let's go full screen. And now we can enjoy the full <laughs> first photo uploaded to Heartbeat Photos, Jordan Elephants. All right, what's gonna be the first photo you will upload, guys? I hope you'll share it with us. You can upload it as public, unlisted, or private. When you upload it as private, only you can see it, or the people you allow to see it. Unlisted means only people with the link can see it, meaning if you send me the link and it's unlisted, I can send it to my friends, they can see it as well. Anyone who knows the link will be able to see your photo. And public is obvious, anyone can see it, they can search for it, it will show up on the Heartbeat website, and you'll be able to monetize it. You'll be able to make money off your photos, just like you can make money from your videos on YouTube. Heartbeat will pay 55% of all revenue generated from all content you upload to Heartbeat, whether it's an article that you write, a photo you post, a video clip you create, a game you make, any kind of content that you post on Heartbeat, you can choose to monetize. And we will pay you, just as YouTube does, 55% of all ad revenue generated from your content. You didn't know if YouTube pays 55%? They do. To everybody, whether you are Disney or a new YouTuber, Everybody gets 55% of the ad revenue YouTube collects from the uh, money they make from the ads around the videos you upload. And we do the same, but for multi-format, not just videos. We still use YouTube, of course. We're not a YouTube competitor. We will embed YouTube videos on Heartbeat so that you'll get growth on YouTube as well as on Heartbeat. Best of both worlds. But I'll, tell, I'll talk more about that in, in future videos for now. I'm just going to leave this with you. And there's one more feature that I wanted to share, which is pretty cool. If I zoom in and I want to share just this portion of the image, let's say I want to look at that elephant and that's it, I can do that. And I can just hold the control key to move my mouse to the uh, address bar. And now if I copy this and share it, you will, the person will see exactly this zoomed in portion of this photo not the whole photo. It's like Google Maps. You know, if you go to Google Maps and zoom into an area and you share the address, it'll show only that zoomed in portion. It's the same idea with Heartbeat Photos. All right, guys, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you think in the comments below this video. And uh, I hope you'll start sharing more photos. I hope you'll start uploading photos of your, of your, uh, Photos you make, uh, your favorite photos, photos from your friends and family. And yeah, let's build Heartbeat together. This is just the first product. We're gonna launch Heartbeat Moments very soon where you can create clips of your exciting moments while watching any YouTube video. 
and then we'll, we'll launch the Wiki, the Heartbeat Video Wiki, which will let you create articles with video clips and photos from Heartbeat Photos. And get this, if you're a photographer, just make photos, just take good pictures. If you're a writer, just write good articles. As a writer, you'll be able to use all the photos from all the photographers for free and then Heartbeat will monetize your articles and pay you, the writer, and the photographer a fair share based on the quality of the content, the uh, effort required. So obviously someone who writes the article will get a higher percentage than someone who just provides an image. But the whole point is you'll be able to use all the public content on Heartbeat for creating your own content, video clips, images, text, any kind of content that creators set as public and they allow other creators to use, you can use in your work. And then Heartbeat pays everybody fairly. So if you're just a photographer, take photos and you might start getting money if people are using your photos in their work. Same with someone who's a writer. If you're just writing articles, people may quote your articles in their work or their videos or their photos. Heartbeat will track all that and make sure every creator gets a fair share. That's not how YouTube works, guys, right? YouTube only pays one person, the person who uploaded the video. So if you made a video and you collaborated with others or you used music from someone else or you used someone else's imagery, uh, photos, YouTube won't pay them. They'll only pay you. And then you need to pay everyone else uh, based on a fair profit sharing. But that's hard because if you're using someone's photo from a website, how do you know how to pay them? You, you don't. So that's why YouTube created Content ID and they redirect revenue. If, someone, if you're using someone else's music, for example, from Sony, then Sony will get all of the revenue from your video. You get nothing. And that's not very fair. Of course, we think every piece of content should be paid out to every creator, not just pick one. So we think we have a better model and we think you will enjoy what we're building. It's just for people who want to create content, it's for people who want to make money, and it's for people who just want to find cool things. Anyway, we'll get more on all that in the future. For now, go to www.heartbeat.photos and upload your photos. Take care everyone, who am I? I am George Venus in Canada. I'm visiting my parents. I'll be back in Dubai soon, but for now, I'm creating this video in a unique format, and uh, we'll see you soon uh, back in the normal formats. All right, take care everybody. Till the next episode.